Oh man, we got some news today. Wow. Ob one plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. one plays. Some huge, huge, huge Nintendo Switch news today. Before we get started, give the video a huge, gigantic thumbs up, like, destroy this like button. Let's get it to over 200 likes. All right, let's get right to the news. Bro, Nintendo's global president, Shanturu Furukawa, I nailed his name. He was recently interviewed by Nikkei. And he talked about the next Nintendo Switch hardware. Specifically, are we getting a Switch Pro this fiscal year, which ends March 2023? And he said no. He said no. He told us N O No Way Jose. That's what Nikkei is reporting. That Nintendo will have no new hardware coming this fiscal year and you know what I blame you it's all of y'all fault because the switch is still destroying the competition NPD the NPD um, who reports hardware sales has said the switch has been the best selling console for 2022 thus far why would Nintendo release a new console when their current console is destroying in the sales chart i think nintendo needs to find that balance of not waiting too late until switch interest is just completely gone and not cannibalizing their current switch hardware sales as well so there's a, there's a balance but this is what nikkei has said that uh, the news was reported via Bloomberg journalist Takashi Moshizuki, legit dude, he has connections, who said Nintendo President Shinturu Faro Kara was interviewed. All right, now he said he um, Mochizuki, he admitted that it wasn't clear if the information from this from this information about no new hardware was coming directly from Furukawa interview or if it was coming from Nikkei's own source, but. Nikkei did interview um, the president. This is what Takashi Moshizuki said on Twitter. There will be no new Nintendo hardware this fiscal year, which ends in March 2023. Not immediately clear whether that part of the article is from Nikkei's own reporting or what Nintendo president who Nikkei interviewed for the story said. And so, for, But for Nikkei to come out and say this right after their interview with Shinturi Furukawa, uh, makes it almost certain that this came from the president that there's gonna be no new hardware I mean we see that what's playing behind me uh, the switch OLED Splatoon edition that has been confirmed this isn't technically new hardware it's just iteration um, of uh, the current OLED man those joy cons look so clean Nintendo sell those joy cons separately bro I don't feel like buying a whole new OLED just for those joy cons um, but crazy crazy stuff now take this with another article from tech radar tech radar is saying that the no no new Nintendo hardware is due to production shortages he says the articles citing that um, Nikkei same Nikkei um, interview is that Nintendo is struggling to produce the necessary components and semi semiconductors needed to manufacture its consoles. Meaning, Nintendo is struggling just to get the current Switch models out on the market to meet demand 
much and less trying to complicate that issue with with new hardware on top of that and so production shortages is one of the problems of the demand the demand is still super high for the switch with exclusives like live or live i'm playing that now xenoblade chronicles x just came out that's on my plate to play splatoon 3 right around the corner and pokemon there's no way nintendo's gonna keep up demand for when the new next gen pokemon launches in november and so production shortages are also the reason why we're not getting a new switch hardware and i'm not tripping too much yes i do want more powerful hardware just so my third party games can run smoother but the first party games nintendo optimizes them for a system so i'm not tripping too much and nintendo's a billion dollar company are they trillion no they're a billion microsoft is trillion nintendo's a billion dollar company multi-billion dollar company they know I think a little better than we do when to when they want to release release their next hardware they see what moves nintendo is money if the current switch is still making them crazy amounts of money coupled with the semiconductor semiconductor shortages they have no incentive no reason to come out with the new switch tough for us as fans but i get i get i get the situation i get the situation speaking of Switch sales. NPD is reporting. No, no, this isn't NPD. This is Nintendo's latest financial um, briefing. The Nintendo Switch has sold over 111 million units worldwide, which is insane. And it's not just the, the, the hardware, but the software. They have sold over, and this is a, this is staggering, bro. 863, over 863 million units of software. You want to know why Nintendo's not in a rush to release a new, a more powerful Switch? Numbers don't lie. Switch is selling like crazy. It's gonna, it's on pace to be the best-selling console of all time. Now, if this next Switch is like a Switch Pro and it's still in the Switch family line of systems, Nintendo will definitely have, Switch will go down as the best selling console of all time. Mark my, my word, it's about to crush the PlayStation 2 numbers. I'm just saying bro. Unless something crazy happens like the Nintendo factory explodes where they're making all the Switches and the Nintendo Switch consoles just stop selling. Unless that happens, <laughs> the Switch is going to and break all kind of records which it already has we already know switch software is selling like crazy and speaking of switch software we also have the best selling this is coming from nintendo's latest financial reporting the best selling switch games of all time y'all want to know since the switch launched which games have sold the best here are the top 10. number 10 Ring Fit Adventure at 14, over 14 million. Um, Pokemon Let's Go also over 14, 14.6 million. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Shining Pearl, 14.7 million. Super Mario Party at number seven, 18 million. Super Mario Odyssey at number six, respectable, 23, Super Mario Odyssey is sold 23 million. And that's only number six, bro. I don't think I understand these exclusive numbers. Sony, and especially Microsoft, could only dream their first party games get these kind of numbers. Pokemon Sword Shield, 24.5 million. Breath of the Wild right now is at 27 million. This is, these are crazy. These are unheard of numbers. Only games like grand theft auto do these kind of numbers super smash brothers 28.8 million at number three super smash brothers at 28 million animal crossing comes in at number two at 39.3 million which is insane at the number one best-selling game on the switch the game you see right here mario kart 8 deluxe 
has sold 46.8 million units. 46.8 million units? That's crazy, man. And this is Mario 8 Deluxe. They're not even including the original Mario Kart 8. So Mario Kart 8, if you can include the, the Wii U numbers, man, this is why we're not getting a Switch, a Switch Pro. Nintendo has no reason to. They are swimming in cash right now. All right, what do you guys think of this news? <sighs> So much news. I do have another news item. Well, let me just throw it in. Data miners have, speaking of Mario Kart, data miners have found future DLC courses um, through music tracks discovered. So uh, these are the tracks that are, will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. The DLC is lit. I did a video. Uh, I live stream all of the latest tracks in my last video on the channel. All right, so these are the tracks that have been data mined. London Loop. DS Peach Gardens. Wait, London Loop is all new. Is it? I don't, I don't know. G Game Boy Advance Boo Lake. Game Boy Advance Broken Pier. Rock Rock Mountain. Berlin Ways. GameCube Nintendo Waluigi Stadium. Was that the track that was epic? Or was it the Nintendo 64 Wario Stadium? No, that's Nintendo 64 Wario Stadium. The Wario Stadium? Oh my goodness. It's one of those. All right, Mary Mountain, 3DS, Rainbow Road, Lit, Amsterdam Drip, Singapore Speedway, G Game Boy Advance, Sunset Wilds, Bangkok Rush, Vancouver Velocity, Wii Maple Treeway. Uh, these tracks are uh, for the re rest of the DLC, but they've been lit racing on them. All right, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything uh, we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We're out. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this. But hey, man. I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too. Hey, and if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi here. Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy, let's go. Man. <laughs> 26, 27, 28.